this is a response to you, Mr. President, to His Majesty, the Honorable Dr. Professor Mighty King Paul I of Cameroon, the Sultan of Sultans, Fun of Funds, Paramount Chief of Chiefs, and the First Citizen, who is equally the head of the executive, the head of the legislative, the head of the judiciary, the head of the armed forces, the custodian of national seal, the guarantor of national peace, the head of state, the head of everything of Cameroon, also performing the task of appointing and dismissing ministers at will and bringing opposition to their knees. Dear Mr. President, you have wiped your ass with the flag and flushed our future down the sink. And you hold the title of president when in reality you possess the powers of a king. Dear Papa Paul, your policies of foreign aid is the disease that has infected the nation's economy. Debts have been passed down the generations like an epidemic. We have watched as the, as the World Bank did the hippie diagnosis, they said we were sick dehydrating from a flu like sinuses. Corruption is in the nation's blood. We need a dialysis and a system formatting. But you know who the virus is? It's you. A leader who addresses us once in a year. Is it because you fear or you just don't care? And a parliament that has become a cocktail where the members go to eat and dine and update the constitution like a software. Six years before the day I was born, I do so swear where the words you swore. 34 years later, you haven't yet gone. Papa, we don't tire. We, we, we can't take it anymore. But please don't get me wrong. My people and I, we don't wish you dead. We wish you to live long. It is not in our nature and we are not haters. I just want my people to know that their constitution has been reduced to ink on a tissue paper. My brother, on the judgment day, I will wrap myself in Cameroon flag to show to God that I've already been to hell and back. Ah, the same regime, the same routine, the same shit on a different day. Light cuts, tap seizes, water is dirty, new diseases, the hospital wards are crowded, there are no clinics, luncheon dead, people are dead, we go to bed, we wake up the next day to the same regime, the same routine, the same shit on a different day. A release of a new decree, taxes increase, salaries decrease, we disagree, you send your police, we beg, we plead, luncheon dead, people dead, we go to bed, we wake up to the next day, to the same regime, the same routine, the same shit, on a different day, we don't tire. Our brothers have started to dope. Our mothers are struggling to cope. Our students are losing their hope. Our couples have started to elope. Our sisters bathe without soap. Our sick babies are dying at home. Yet I'm still trying to decode why the best thing you've ever done was to invite the Pope. Twice. Twice. But if you keep listening to people like Antanganji, you will never know our story. See, I was educated to the top when the economy had dropped. My people know the chop. Give me the only flop. My papa did drink fifa grass and begin the scratch on the pot. Some people get degree for law, but then they send a rice for dope. And tax the only flop, so then they use na cheating cough. Massa, when I make and come off a day, me I don't fear you over vex your face with tear and time for change not in me. These politicians, no, mathematicians, because they use calculations to calculate you like they were doing the calculation of calculus and they campaign from January to December. But yet, they still complain they don't remember of all those promises of better policies from these Gentiles, hypocrites and Pharisees. All those roads without potholes and pesticide for the cocoa and hay and barely for the goats and better visions and better goals. We don't tire your promises. That has made us your enemy. Isa Chiruma says all is good, but all we see is a rush to overseas embassies. Oh boy, pay it in Sandon. Save licensier, they don't pick gun. Any time from now, Fibon. Everybody wants to run to London. Meanwhile, the nation is ruled by the rich and the famous. Useful used to quit Facebook to face their book are now turning to hip-hop. They are all hip-hop potamos. 
Because tell me, what is the need to go to school to get a degree and to change class? When time for Mingui never reach, they don't buy or cast them. And if you no get man inside fence, you go catch an inside grass in this society where the first is rather the last. Free for 55 years, the regime has locked us in a car and wind up the glass. But time for open that door don't reach or we go gas. And since we plenty go smear past, you go look wonder whether we carry shit for our last. My heart breaks where every time I watch them on our tellies, making them to speeches with our taxes in their bellies. Mr. President, you cannot force me to stay in this, in this marriage. If you and your people treat me like a savage, Cameroon is too undivisible because freedom is not negotiable. What we need is a system free of crooks who tell us to change the page instead of changing the book. They say change the meal, I say replace the cook because to catch a bigger fish you need a better hook. Now, this video may leave you in fear. So I understand if you don't share. To those who hold their future dear, we'll make sure these others hear.